Okay, this healthcare. This is Rex. He's a male. Three. He's about three to four months old, and he will probably live up to ten to fifteen years in this tour room, and of course, cared properly. In the wild, they're lucky to live about a couple years. That's why uh, people thought they were ex extinct for a while. He will probably grow up to be bigger than my hand. As you can see, hold on, let me just get him down on the floor. Get off me, get off. Okay, so that's him. As you can see, my hand, he's not very big right now, but when he grows up, he'll be from my middle finger up to around there, including his tail. Now, his morph right now is powerless, but that could change uh, when he grows up. Okay, this is how to treat a wound. Rex here got hurt a couple oh, well, a month ago by uh, jumping on the floor head first. What this did, well, what that did was take his, it ripped his eyelashes and the eyelashes came down and pretty much poked his eye, which gave him a, a black eye. So now what I give him is Polysporin, eye drops, um, pink eye. That's for humans. Don't worry about the pink eye thing, it's just the name. Rex here. Gotta move Rex. Okay. What you do is you take right, a little, just drop it right underneath his eye. Eyelashes. And that's gonna give him like a wire like bubble in his eye. And you do that twice a day for a week. And if you don't find if you find an improvement there, then I would keep going until it goes better. If if it's not better, I would go to uh, the local pet shop to get something else. You could get this at Shoppers Drug Mart or anything. Even the polysporin gel, but don't put that on the eyes. That's for only cuts. And yeah. Okay, for treating the cut, I would use polysporin gel. This heals it fast, and it takes away any infection, which is good. So I would open this up, take the jello, and hold on. Let me just. I would take a Q-tip. Put the gel on the Q-tip and just rub the, um, this on his cut, which I can't do right now because he's a very hyper and he probably won't stay still. I would do it when um, after he's asleep and I would take him so he's very um, very sleepy and so he won't move. But Rex right now he's fully awake and he will not stop moving. It's the longest he's not he hasn't moved. So, this will probably take a couple weeks, then it will grow into a scar, the cut, and after a couple of months after that, the skin will grow back. But you will pretty much always see the, the scar, it will just be lighter than the rest of his skin. And the eye, it will look a little bit different, because it was poked pretty badly, and the eyelashes will grow back after he sheds. Which is starting to happen, as you could tell from his feet. Another thing, when you guys hold a eyelash cross gecko, especially when they grow up, you have to be aware that they're leaping lizards, so they'll probably jump a lot. Let's see if I can make him jump. They like to jump a lot, as you can see right there. So when you're holding them, I would cut them in your hands. And when you pick them up, pick them up like right underneath their arms. Because you don't want to pick them up by the toe because it will drop off. And obviously not the head because their head's delicate. So that's it for now. 
This is Bismo Bros. Please like and subscribe. Say bye, Rex.